One person is thinking about marriage, the first thing they should think about is, what is my relationship with God? Mm -hmm. What is my relationship with my parents, with my siblings, mm -hmm. and how do I practice my daily Christian walk throughout? Am I living according to God's principles? Mm -hmm. um, there's so many things I talk about in regards to the, the relationship. Oh, then tell this part. We were dating, never held her hand before I proposed. Hmm. We intentionally try to give me hugs, I would run from her. I did try to give him hugs. <laughs> try, you did. I, would, I would run. And you ran. Yes. And he, ran. he actually threw a chair in front of me, hurt my shin. Oh. <laughs> yeah. You are right. Yes. Good to Joseph. Yeah. So you were. <laughs> Joseph. So you, you stayed away from. Physical. Because the physical often clouds the reality of what's happening in the relationship. Hmm. And oftentimes. Um, individuals can see this person is not for me. I mean, they can see what they're. This person is not spiritual. This person mentally is not on my same page. But physically, I just can't. I just can't stop. I just got to keep going back, and you keep mm -hmm. going back, but you know it's that bad for you. Wow. Because you've opened something that you can't put back in. That's why the last thing that a woman is to give is her body. Mm -hmm. A woman who gives her body first has already violated every principle in regards to relationship. So her mind, her, her mind and her soul are whether to attract a man. This is why a woman, when she dresses, should cover herself. Mm -hmm. She shouldn't be showing her femininity to every dude. That, is, that should be sacred to the most holy place. And only one priest went into the most holy place. Mm -hmm. I have privileges that no man is ever going to have. Mm -hmm. Because it's a relationship that me and her have. Mm -hmm. And if a young lady or young man have entered into that sacred place and they have not even made a covenant with each other, it's, the relationship is not going to last unless there's repentance and a turning of a heart to God. So mm -hmm. it's so very important. We, we've told our story, but we've, we've sought to live by the principles that God set forth, which makes homes happy. They make them last. And it's not always the euphoric feeling. Mm -hmm. You know, somebody says, well, you're, you're, not, you're not close enough. You're not kissing all the time on the video. You know, <laughs> that has nothing to do with anything. That the, it's the foundations of the home that are found in Christ that if lived, bring happiness to that home. It is so important. It's serious. It's a serious matter. And I, I, there's a quotation that says, not one in a hundred already to be married. Not one in a hundred. Can you not imagine that? one in one hundred. Not one in one hundred. Mercy. And think about this. Satan hates happy homes. Mm -hmm. Just look at the percentage of divorce in our country. Look at those who are not divorced, but are in the home together, but don't Miserable. like each other. Miserable. Don't sleep in the same bed together. Uh, why? What, what's mm -hmm. happening? Satan has played a game mm -hmm. on the relationship. He's mm -hmm. played a game on the home. So the home, the, that sacred circle must be protected. It is from the home that our societies are made. So you just ask yourself the question. Look at our society. It's messed up. It's messed up. And if our society is messed up, that means our homes are messed up. And if our homes are messed up, it's the heads of the family that are messed up. Mm -hmm. So it comes back to me, comes back to her, and it comes back to the community in that church. The churches are messed up. Why are the churches messed up? Because the families are messed up. If we want a revolution, we want happiness in our homes, in our community, in our churches, the greatest reformation that can be had, outside of your own personal heart reformation, it's a reformation in the home. Hmm. So it's very important for young people to, before entering into dating or courtship, considering marriage, to really prepare mm -hmm. for this because it's serious. Yes. You know, I, I was reading that marriage not only affects your life today, but also your eternal destiny. Yes. And that your spouse is the person who can make you the most miserable. That's right. That, that is serious. That's to think right. that the person that you feel so in love with mm. is actually the person who can destroy you.